Hi you guys, my name is Sharita. Welcome to my channel. <sighs> Don't ask me why I did that. Um, somebody just told me that I looked like I was 20, maybe 21, so I'm feeling kind of youthful right now. <laughs> In today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys a list of podcasts that you guys can listen to, subscribe to, however it may be during this time of quarantining-ness. If you guys are interested in this video, go ahead and keep watching. Before I get started, make sure you guys click subscribe for new videos every time I post a video. And also do not forget to click the notification bell so that you guys are notified every single time I post a video. So let's get started. Now, if you are new to my channel or if you don't know, I am very pro-black, I am very on my Issa Rae, I'm rooting for everybody black. So every every podcast that I will be mentioning is hosted by a black person. I think it's important, what? What is important? I think it's important for everybody to have a little bit of diversity in their everyday life, whether it's the music they listen to, whether it's the TV shows they watch, whether it's podcasts that you listen to, whether it's books that you read, whatever it may be, I feel like diversity is needed. That way you're not just, you don't have just a one street mind when it comes to thinking. So if you guys feel like you are lacking diversity, if you guys feel like you would like to support more black content creators, if you guys just enjoy podcasts, just keep listening because I've got some good ones for you. I've got 10, 10 podcasts for you guys to listen to during this lockdown time, depending on where you are. Okay, so podcast number one is called Pimp Your Brilliance. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to read the description because, I mean, who can sell a podcast better than the people themselves? A show about brilliant people who have leveraged their passions to create their own opportunities. I share inspiring interviews and my thoughts on small business, motivation, and goal setting. This is just a really good podcast for people who are more interested in growing their business, they're more interested in setting goals for their life, whether it's personal or in their work, whatever. It's a really good podcast. She always has a lot of people coming in to speak on things that they do. She has the most random people who come onto her shows to talk about their business and what they do. I think it's awesome that she brings in people that have a different niche and it's not just, oh, I knit scarves. Okay, well, lots of people knit scarves. How is your, how are your scarves different than anybody else's? So it's things like that. So Pimp Your Brilliance is one. The second podcast that I would recommend is Why the F Am I Not Famous? Funny conversation with the dope yet broke. Ever spend hours cracking up on the phone with your multi-talented friends and think we really should be getting paid for this or for anything for that matter. Listen in as we talk and deal with issues that have stopped us from successfully accomplishing our goals. This is a podcast where you listen to and you literally just feel like you are talking with your best friends. It's just a conversation between four black educated women. Not only do they talk about, hey, how come I'm not famous because this, that, and the other, or what's stopping me from becoming famous, but they talk on just a plethora of topics. And usually it's something that's happening within the the pop culture community. The third podcast that I would recommend is Black Women Working. The Black Women Working podcast centers Black women's stories at work and provides a safe space for Black women to speak openly about their experiences and provide support, advice, and aspiration to other Black women. Now this is a podcast that is not based out of the United States. At least, I shouldn't say that. I should say the hosts are not based from the United States. They're all women of color and they're all from the UK and they make it very specific to work where they talk about microaggressions and things that black women and men deal with um, on a professional level when it comes to corporate jobs. So one, if you're a black person who works in a corporate setting, this is really good. And two, if you are not a person of color or not a black person of color, this is really good to listen and understand what people deal with on a daily basis just for being black. 
So the fourth podcast is Getting Grown. Kia and Jade are two happy and hardworking blackity black women who are just trying to learn how to adult for real. Join us each week for kitchen table talk, petty peeves, and lessons in black women self-care as we try to figure out life as 30-somethings. This is just another podcast where black women get together and they just vent about things that they struggle with on a daily basis as black women. And it's very, you feel like you're just having a conversation like you and your girls chilling. Like they mentioned, like they've got their kitchen table talk and you literally feel like you're just both of you, you know, all three of you guys are just sitting, kikiing, drinking wine, drinking coffee, drinking tea, drinking water, whatever, and just conversing. So getting grown. I, I believe I'm, I'm on number five. So the fifth podcast is Bad Romance Podcast. Now this podcast is two women who they talk about really bad romance movies whether they be romantic comedies or just sappy movies, whatever it is, if it's a romance movie and it's bad, they're going to talk about it and it is hysterical. They literally just rip this movie apart. And I would read the show notes, but literally it just says, hey, we talk about bad romance movies. That's that's all it is. So they it is it is hilarious. And I mean, even if you haven't seen the movie, you can still listen to their podcast and you get so much joy just listening to them rip apart these terrible classic movies. Number six, friends like us. This is another sit down, let's talk about different topics uh, type podcast. It's hosted by a woman by the name of Marina Franklin and she just brings on a bunch of different guests and whatever topic that they happen to talk about that day is what they talk about. But it's called Friends Like Us and it's def like you definitely feel like you are you are friends with whoever she has on that day. So friend friends like us. Number seven, Strong Black Lead. Strong Black Legends is a weekly show brought to you by Netflix and Strong Black Lead that honors the best of black Hollywood. Every Tuesday, host Tracy Clayton, Oh my gosh, you guys, I love Tracy so, so much. Sits down with the legends that paved the way for black representation both on and off screen. So basically, Tracy sits down with amazing, like, like huge people that you have definitely heard of. If you find yourself not knowing much about black, about black culture and black actors, this is an amazing way to like delve into learning about these these amazing people. There are a lot of comedians. Um, I, I Marlon Wayans was hysterical. Um, John Witherspoon, rest in peace. His was amazing. I mean, you've got Loretta Devine, Lynn Whitfield, Mike Epps. Like they have amazing people on this show and you just get to listen to them get interviewed by a, an amazing interviewer. So strong black lead amazing 100 i i totally recommend it eight the friend zone not to be mistaken with friends like us but this is called the friend this is called the friend zone listen along every wednesday as dustin ross hey fran hey and asante explore mental health mental wealth and mental hygiene because who in the hell wants a musty brain so this is a good podcast that tackles mental health but all of the hosts happen to be black men and women and if if you don't know growing up especially like in the like late like late 80s early 90s like even late 90s mental health was something that black people didn't really talk about it was something that you could pray away you know oh what do you why are you depressed but like this was rampant in the black community and to have a, a podcast that centers around mental health for and about black people is amazing. So the friend zone. Number nine, 200 and counting. Now this one I love so, so much because this young black woman talks about all of the documentaries that she's seen. So hence 200, but you know, she's seen way more that, you know, 200 and counting, but her goal is to get to the to the 200 
documentaries but anyways so it's it's about documentaries and I love documentaries especially if they're true crime documentaries sign me up 200 and counting is a comedy pop culture podcast all about documentaries each episode hosted by Tia covers a different doc based on a list of over 200 documentaries she has seen with the help of her favorite memes songs and television sound bites Tia shares her thoughts critiques and ratings with topics ranging from dating apps to competitive tickling videos to black hair all wrapped up in less than 30 minutes so I guess one of the things I didn't mention with each of these podcasts is some of them, most of them are like an hour-ish long, hour plus long, but 200 and counting, like she said, she wraps it up in 30 minutes or less. So if this is something that you want to listen to, like if you, if say you still are working, God bless you if you are still working. If you're still working, you got a 30 minute lunch and you want to listen to something, bam, there you go. It's right there, 200 and counting. And number 10 is The Read. The Read, I think, and I could be wrong, is probably the most popular podcast when it comes to black culture. The Read, it's exactly what they, you know, The Read, they read people. And majority of the people that they read come from like the hip hop culture and they, they just, they talk about everything. So again, if you feel like you need some diversity in your life, if you feel like you, you need to know a little bit more about, about black culture, hit up the read you guys it is amazing and i i want to say that's one of the most popular podcasts all of the, every single one of these podcasts like i listen to it's on my list of podcasts that i listen to weekly that is my list of 10 podcasts that you could be listening to during this government lockdown quarantine whatever you want to call it if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. That helps me out a lot. Do not forget to link up with me on social media. All of that information will be down below in the description box, as well as links to all of these wonderful, wonderful podcasts that I highly, highly suggest you guys go and listen to. And until my next video, I'll see you guys later. Bye.